So vegetables are good for health. But not all vegetable is good for your blood type. In this series, we are looking at compatibility of vegetables and blood types. Videos on compatibility of type O and vegetables was uploaded. Please, if you've not watched that video, I want to encourage you to watch it. You're not watching it for yourself alone. Remember, we are in the journey challenge of educating our world. So if not for you, it should be for your neighbor, it should be for your sibling, should be for your loved ones. Today, we're going to talk about compatibility of vegetable with type A. So if you're tuning in for the first time, you're welcome to Ask Dr. Neta channel where we discover the missing link in our head via the uniqueness of our blood group. So join us in this journey of discovery by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. Also, don't forget to give us a thumb up by clicking on the like button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. For returning subscribers, I love you all. I appreciate you. Thank you for the good work of educating our world you are, we are partnering together in. I want to also to encourage you to make sure you inculcate discipline in withdrawing from the don'ts and feasting more on the do's of your blood type. Today, we're going to talk about type A's. From previous videos, we talked that from ancestry, these blood types are vegetarian. And why are they vegetarian? Because their stomach is alkaline in nature. So because of the alkalinity of their stomach, they must not take anything that will disrupt that alkaline nature of their stomach. So anything that will disrupt it is going to affect their health. Because remember, their stomach is meant to be alkaline. Now, and vegetable is an essential aspect of this blood type diet because they are vegetarian. So vegetable is a potent source of minerals, enzymes, and antioxidants for them. But there are some few vegetables that are poisonous to them, and they must take precaution and eliminate them immediately from their diet. Top of the list of such veg vegetables are pepper. All peppers are not good for type A. Peppers and mold in fermented olives aggravate the delicate stomach of type A's. So type A, please eliminate all peppers, yellow, red, shombo pepper, atarado, whatever you call it. As long as it's pepper, please eliminate it from your diet. Another thing that must be eliminated is cabbage, yam, and potatoes. If I'm talking about potatoes, I'm talking about both sweet potato and Irish potatoes. Remember from the last video, we talked about that blood O, they, that they will have to eliminate Irish potato. But sweet potato is very good, beneficial for them. For type A, both Irish and sweet potato, including yam, is a no-no for them. But for type O, they can eat yam. Yam is neutral for them. But type A, yam is a void for you. So eliminate it because this... Uh, mentioned uh, items that's yam and all potatoes they contain lectin which don't go well with your blood type so you have to eliminate them and i know that some of you might have realized that whenever you eat all these things like when you eat pepper it, some people say ah, when i eat food for pepper it makes me to purge it means that there is an interaction that is not good for you so it means that your, your system is saying no no to them so that's how the mechanism of that whenever you eat something always listen to your body when you eat something and it doesn't go well by digesting you eat food for two hours that food is still very much available in your system that is problem you eat food and you start having your stomach making noise and reacting or you start feeling bloated that is it means that it's not compatible with your blood type so listen to your system whenever you hear some look uh, here feel anyhow after eating any meal it means that you have to take caution as regard that meal now another thing type a is most eliminate is tomatoes just like i said in the last video that all blood type form agglutination with tomato because the lectin in tomato agglutinate all blood types but blood o and a b they have lectin that neutralize that lectin in tomato so the so because of that they can tolerate tomato but it's not that it is healthy for them they can tolerate it. You know what, you, what you're tolerating is what you're managing. So they can manage tomatoes. But type A and B, please, tomato is a no-no for you. Please eliminate this from your meal. 
But good news is that broccoli is very good for you. Bro broccoli. Broccoli is a, poten a potential source of antioxidants for type A's. So type A's, whenever you're preparing your veggies, please include broccoli there. Now, at this stage, you realize that for type A's that are Nigerians, stew is a no-no for you. So you have to look for a means of taking your rice. It means that whenever you want to eat your rice, you have to use sauce, vegetable sauce. So you have to look for vegetable, how to prepare vegetable for your own rice. Garlic is a very good spice and like it's like a medicine for type A. All blood type benefit from garlic. But for type A, garlic is like compulsory for them. This garlic serve as an immune bo booster for type A's. So if you're type A, look for means of inculcating diet, not just in your diet, but whenever you, you can make it that you chop vegetable, you chop garlic and drink it like medicine. Now, when I was doing this research, I had a flashback, my visit to India, when I visited India, do, my host, they deal with spice so much. They cannot do without garlic and, and they don't eat pepper. Whenever that, even when they're having a big occasion, what you see them do is that they're going to serve pepper so that anybody can pick pepper if you want pepper. They don't, there is not part of their meal. They don't eat tomato, they don't eat pepper. Now I understand that majority of Indians are vegetarians. Now, I also remember those days whenever you go, go close to Indians, it starts perceiving one garlic smell from them. And that's why we say that they smell bad. This, these Indians, they understood that garlic is important for them. So they drink garlic as, they, as you drink water. So, and that's why it smells. So if you don't want to experience that smell, what I would advise you to do is to shop the garlic like a clove. Take it on empty stomach every morning. You're going to feel better. And when you are, when whatever we are discussing on this channel is affecting your life positively is helping you to recover the missing link in your health don't forget to drop the comments drop that comment because when people listen and read the comments it will help them remember the essence of giving testimony is to make encourage somebody beside you that this is a, something that can work for me too if it can work for a it can also work for b don't forget to drop your comment, uh, drop your experience on the comment section. And if you have questions or something you don't understand, be free to drop your comments. And people that have my WhatsApp contacts, you can be free to chat me on anything you don't understand. So together we can recover the missing link in our health. Now, in summary of the do's for this blood type, blood type A, you're a vegetarian. Your system is very delicate, so don't ever follow type O because you're like you are opposite of type O. So type O is acidic, you are alkaline, so you're opposite. So whatever, don't say that ah, if are you not a human being? If you can eat it, I can eat it. No, it's not like that. That's why they say one man's meat is another man's poison. So discover your uniqueness, maintain your own BRT lane, so you can get your destination faster. Yes. So you can live a fulfilled life, a life void of pains, a life void of drugs. So you don't always visit pharmacy like I used to do before. I was discussing with my friend that there was a time in my life that there's no month or like every other week I must treat malaria. I went to the center of buying nets so that I maybe it's mosquito. Yet I might not feel feverish. I might not feel headache, but my tongue, I, I, there's feeling of unwell. So but whenever I go to hospital, the doctor would do tests. After diagnosis, they said, you don't have any malaria. They will end up giving me vitamin C. That will even make me feel bad. So what I would do is I will angrily go and have a pharmacist where I go and buy malaria medicine and do self-medication. At the end, I will not feel better. But psychologically, I say I've treated malaria. So it's, it was like consistent to the extent that my dad pharmacy, they call me their customer. Whenever I come, they know what to give me. So when I discover this blood type diet, I stopped visiting. So I saw, when I, when I passed through that pharmacy a couple of days ago, I just went in to greet them. They said, ah, what did we do to you? We are not seeing you again. I said, yes. 
because I'm recovering my health, because I've discovered the missing link in my health. So I want to join you to discover this missing link in your heart, health, so you can also recover your own health, so you will not be victim of all these drugs. I realize that if you look at the leaflet of drugs, they will tell you this is what it does, and look at the side effect. You realize that the side effect is even sickness on itself. So for you to avoid this, is for you to discover your uniqueness via your blood type. Summary of the do's for type A. Type A, a carrot is medicine for you. All the do's are medicine that you're beneficial. Carrots, celery, spinach, kale is there. Ginger, garlic, onions is there. Okra is there. Broccoli is there. Beet green is also beneficial to you. The mushroom that are no no to blood O is good for you. So you can deal with common mushroom. You can also deal with silver dollar mushroom, which is not here which is always seen in the western world then and others as shown on the screen maximize all your beneficiaries because they are your medicine garlic is there then but there are ones you must avoid these ones are poisonous to you they will disrupt your immune system and that will make you to be predisposed to diseases so top of the list is peppers all the peppers green yellow black red whatever as long as it's pepper, eliminate it from your diet. Eliminate tomato from your diet because of agglutination. It forms with your blood type. Eliminate yam. Eliminate cabbage. Eliminate potatoes. Both sweet potato and Irish potato. Eliminate them from your diet. Eliminate olives from your diet. Eliminate Greek olives, Spanish olives, and black olives. You have to eliminate all olives from your diet. You have to eliminate eggplant from your diet. And others as shown on the screen. Just make sure that all the don'ts, you are gradually eliminating them. A friend of mine was telling me, ah, Anita, I like this so much. I said, yes, you like it. And you've been suffering from some things. You don't know where it's coming from. Why not eliminate and see how better your life will be? So in that case, I want you to eliminate all these don'ts. And it's by discipline. It is not something you wake up and do overnight. Especially those ones you like so much. Some of them that you crave for. Just caution yourself whenever you want to take them if it's something that you eat every day you might be withdrawing eating three times a day gradually you withdraw from them and when you withdraw you know that you will have more energy for life and you're going to feel better health wise because i am a living witness to that so at this stage if you've not subscribed to ask the Tanita channel i want you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell I also want you to share this link with your loved ones. Share it with your contacts. Share it with your neighbor. Remember, it's all about educating our world. Let's share this information. Let's help people to recover their health. Somebody was telling me that ah, I've been drinking slimming tea. I've been looking for means of watching weight. It's not working out because some of the things you're eating is not compatible with your system. Your system cannot deal with it. Your system cannot metabolize it. So it's being stored. So even if you're drinking slimming tea or whatever, and you're still eating those ones that cannot be metabolized, you'll be adding weight. So let's maintain this low tide diet, and I know you'll be feel good. you have the ideal weight you look for. You're going to have energy for life. You're not going to have some of these degenerative diseases like arthritis, blood pressure, that seems to be a norm in our world today. Maintain your lane. Like when you maintain your own lane, you're going to get to your destination faster. You you remember they said that we are different. Like if you look at your palms, it's different from that of your twin sister or twin brother. That's why your that's your uniqueness is in everything in character, in your life, and in your blood. You're unique. So follow your uniqueness and enjoy this one life God has given us to enjoy.